What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Max Grill Shack. My name is Shane, and today we are going to be smoking some beef back ribs. We're gonna whip up a mop sauce. It's gonna be delicious, so stick around. And as you can see here, we have ourselves some beef back ribs. I've done nothing to these other than pull them out of the uh, cryovac. And a uh, little bit of meat on these guys, not a ton. It's not like a short rib where you're getting those big dino bones. Um, but these are super tasty. And uh, I don't think there's gonna be much to trim on here, honestly. Maybe just a, any loose flaps hanging off here we'll get rid of. I think what I'm going to do is just score the membrane up a little bit rather than uh, try remove it or leave it intact. Nothing to that. A tiny little bit of silver skin left on, uh, on here. I'll just uh, remove. Alright, nothing to that. Nice and easy. And for seasoning today, we're gonna go very simple, salt and pepper. Uh, I want the, the mop sauce today to be the star of the, the flavor show here. So uh, yeah, just gonna get hit it here with uh, some kosher salt. And of course, remember to get those sides. You eat all sides, so you season all sides. And then we'll just hit this with a bit of coarse black pepper. All right, there we go, nothing to it. Gonna let this uh, set out here, sweat out a little bit. Uh, let that pepper and salt stick nicely, and uh, let's go fire up the pit. All right, first things first, gonna get a chimney starter of lump charcoal lit here. Get it nice and hot, dump it in there. Add a couple splits of oak wood and bring our smoker up to temperature. Okay, our chimney of charcoal is uh, nice and hot. Time to jump her in here. And I'm just gonna add one good size uh, split of oak here just to get it preheated. We'll close our uh, fuel door here, our main cooking door, and uh, let it come up to temperature. Okay, we are fully preheated. We're uh, rocking right about 275, just north of 275. As you can see, we're burning very clean here. So it's time to get these beef ribs on the pit. This end's a little bit thicker than this end here, so what I'm going to do is point that towards my firebox. In there. And uh, as you can see, I have removed my upper grate. Don't need it. We're just doing the one rack today. So uh, plenty of space left in there. But uh, just going to keep an eye on these. We got our uh, oak wood splits kind of preheating there over the firebox. And uh, we'll top that up as we need to to keep our temps up.
Okay, let's bust out a mop sauce. Started here with about half a cup of butter. Get that melted down. Okay, and to our butter, we're gonna go in with about a tablespoon of granulated onion. Tablespoon of granulated garlic. We got about a teaspoon's worth of black pepper. Or a teaspoon's worth of crushed chili flakes. About a teaspoon's worth of hot smoked paprika. and about three tablespoons of brown sugar. And we'll just give this a good whisk. Next, we're gonna add some apple cider vinegar. About two cups. We've got a couple shots of Worcestershire sauce here. Worcestershire sister sauce. Give us a quick whisk. All right, then we got ourselves some Texas peat hot sauce. This is not local to me, so uh, thank you, Erica, for hooking me up. All right, there we are with that. And then I've just got a lemon here. We'll just cut into some slices. So add a, a bit of nice brightness and acidity. We'll just chuck them in just like that. Give this another mix. And we're also going to go in with a good dose of ketchup. Just gonna let this simmer uh, here for a while. Let all those flavors come together nicely. And uh, let's go check in on those ribs. Okay, we're coming uh, just past the, the one hour mark here. Cruising just a little below 300 at the moment. Let's take a look. Starting to get some color. Certainly still have a ways to go. So we'll just uh, keep maintaining temps here. I think we're right at the two hour mark. Still cruising right at 275 here. So let's take B. There we go. Starting to get a little more color here now. I'm curling up a little bit on the end, which tends to happen with these guys. But uh, I think for right now, I'm just gonna give these a flip and uh, get some color on the, uh, on the back side here and uh, let these go for probably another hour or so. And then we'll probably flip them back to bone side. And then I think we'll be ready for some mopping. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes or so since we turned our ribs uh, bone side up. And uh, definitely starting to get some nice color on it here. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and give the, the bone side here a quick mop before we flip it, let it sit in for just a little bit. Unfortunately, I forgot to grab my uh, my real mop, so I'm using a basting brush today, but uh, it'll get the sauce on there. That's what matters. Starting to get some dark color on the, on the back side there, so this will help to uh, 
stop any of that from getting too burnt up on us. All right, there we go. Okay, just gonna let that set up for uh, maybe 15 minutes or so, bone side up. We'll flip it neat side up and then we'll continue mopping until these ribs are ready to come off. Okay, let's give these uh, beef back ribs a flip. See there, we got some nice color on them. We're getting there, a bit of bone pull back. Just gonna flip these over here. And uh, let's give this meat side a quick mop. Touching this up with their mop sauce probably every 15 minutes or so. Okay, let's check in on these uh, beef ribs and see how we're looking. Ooh, definitely getting some nice color. You can see there, got some bone pullback coming. Hit this a uh, handful of times now with our, our mop sauce. Definitely starting to get tender. I think we're due for another mop. While we're here, gonna give us a quick tent. Sixties and seventies. Still a little ways to go here. But let's hit it here with one more uh, mop. And keep this going. All right, there we go. Going to uh, continue letting these uh, ribs cook through. Continue to mop it every 15 minutes or so. Probably got maybe another hour, hour and a half left, I would assume. And uh, we'll keep an eye on it. We are right at the five hour mark here now on these beef ribs, so let's take a look. Definitely getting some good color here, and uh, probably hit this with the mop sauce. I'm gonna say probably eight times now. Um, give these a quick temp, see where we're at. Uh, we're definitely not where we need to be yet um, so I think what I'm going to do here is uh, give them a foil wrap and uh, speed up the cook here so we can get to eating these guys. Alright, let's get these in some foil here. I'm going to go meat side down. back on the grill here and I am going to hit it with some more mop sauce in here pour a little bit right in there All right, there we go. Got some mop sauce in there. We'll wrap these up, meat side down. That way uh, the meat can sit in that mop sauce while it continues to cook here. All right, there we go. Keep this cook going and we'll check back in a few and see how we're doing. Okay, we've been wrapped in foil here for about an hour or so, so I'd say it's time to check on in and see how we're looking. Ooh. 
lots of bone pull back there now. As you can see, let's give this a quick temp. Check for uh, tenderness while we're at it. There we go, big improvement. High 190s, 200 there, feeling super tender. Yeah, 200 there. So I think what we're gonna do here now is uh, just pull these out of the foil and just let them go for maybe 10 minutes or so. And just to kind of reset that bark on top and uh, give us a little bit better texture. And our beef back ribs are uh, ready to come off the pit. So let's get them out on our board and get it resting. Right, and here's the finished product of our beef back ribs cooked on the uh, offset smoker seasoned very simply salt and pepper then we made uh, our, uh, our mop sauce and hit that uh, the last couple hours of the cook give it a bit of a tin foil wrap in the last hour and uh, these look good smell amazing I'm excited to dive on in so uh, let's give it a slice and uh, try them out definitely got ourselves a smoke ring uh, no doubt about that smells good definitely got some smoke on there um, fun cook probably took about six hours six six and a half hours in total not too bad maintained about 275 throughout the uh, the majority of the cook there and uh, I say we give these a try let's go Very tender, very juicy. Great flavor, nice little bit of tang from the uh, from the mop sauce there. That's good. I like that. I, uh, I do definitely find that the acidity uh, and something like that mop sauce, something vinegar based, really does help cut through something like a beef rib that's super rich and fatty and uh, kind of tones it down a little bit and uh, gives it a great flavor profile. That's tasty. Super good. Big fan of that. Definitely gonna have to uh, use that mop sauce in the future for some more applications. Uh, worked out real nice here on these beef back ribs. And I do thank you for sticking around again for another video where we uh, fired up the, the backyard offset smoker and uh, whipped up some back ribs here. Um, not a very complicated cook, but it was fun to do. It's uh, still only my my second cook in with the uh, with the offset, so it's fun to play around with the fire and uh, work on my fire management and keeping those temps steady. And uh, yeah, it's it's enjoyable for sure. And uh, yeah, if you want to stick around for uh, for more of these videos, uh, please hit that subscribe button. Definitely got a lot more uh, planned for the future here. We're just getting started. And uh, if you enjoyed this one, hit that like button also. Uh, I do appreciate it. But uh, other than that, feel free to get outside and grill up some goodness for yourselves. Cheers. Cheers.